Hello, my name is Tyler Sparkman. And I'm Abby Erbeck. We are the leaders of Music and Memory at Ball State University. We've been asked by Music and Memory to outline how we put together a new kind of student service group. It's a group based on the idea of bringing personalized iPod music to Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Inspired by a Music and Memory Internet video, we started our volunteer outreach at Ball State in 2014. Since then, we have brought the power of personalized music to dozens of Indiana nursing home residents and donated hundreds of hours of volunteer time. By telling our story, we hope to inspire you to take action to bring music and memory to your campus. Feel free to use some of our ideas we highlight today, or come up with your own. We encourage you to become a part of this amazing outreach that's changing the lives of Alzheimer's and dementia patients across the nation. One of the first things we did was develop a formal mission statement. This gave us focus and clear explanation of our primary purpose. Here's what we came up with. The main mission of Music and Memory at Ball State is to provide free iPods and personalized music playlists to nursing home residents with special emphasis on those suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. Our story began in a freshman classroom. Our professor showed us a video from Music and Memory. That's what inspired us to bring our own outreach here to Muncie. Yeah. I'm gonna take the music for one second, okay? Just huh? to ask you a few questions, okay? Cute. I'm gonna give it back to you. Uh-huh. Okay. Henry. Yeah? Um, do you like the iPod? Do you like the music you're hearing? Yes. Tell me about your music. Well, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't have one. I mean, do you like music? Yeah, I'm crazy about music. You play beautiful music, beautiful sound. Did beautiful. you? Did you play music when you were? Uh, were you? Did you like music when you were young? Yes, yes, I went to big dances and things. What was your favorite music when you were young? Well, well I guess, uh, well. Cab Calloway was my number one band guy. I like. They did the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy, the holy. What's your favorite favorite Cab Calloway song? Oh, I'll be home before Christmas. Oh, you can count plans on me. With plenty of snow, mistletoe, present, red brand new tree, ow. What, what does music do, do to you? It give me the feeling of love, no, no mass. Figure right now the world needs to come into music, singing. You got beautiful music here. Beautiful, oh, lovely. And uh, I feel the band of love, the dream. Lord came to me, made me holy. I'm a holy man. So he gave me this sound. I'll just say, I'll meet you. Let see. Rosalie, won't you love me? Rosalie, won't you be sweet? Once we got the idea from the Music and Memory Organization video, we decided to take action. We created a new student organization at Ball State University. We created a constitution and created a mission statement. And then we were formally recognized by the university itself. We encourage you to do whatever you would like to do, whether it become a formal organization on campus or an informal. There are several benefits to becoming a recognized student organization. You have university recognition, availability to be involved in campus events such as homecoming, and also you can be involved in student organizational fairs like the activity fair. We encourage you to visit your Office of Student Life and see how you can get your organization recognized by the university. You can do it. It's that simple. Here's how our group is organized. We have a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer that make up our executive board. Our other members branch off into four different sections that we call volunteers, storytellers, fundraisers, and researchers. The volunteers are the ones doing the actual service work inside the nursing home. Next, the storytellers help shoot video and help with our web content. The fundraisers raise the money and help us promote our cause. The researchers study the impact our outreach has on the residents as well as the volunteers. 
The way we have structured our group gives our members lots of opportunities to grow in many different areas. In order to start a music and memory organization outreach, you're going to have to have some money. So it's extremely important to fundraise. Our main fundraiser of the year is a variety show that we have named A Night to Remember. We invite many different groups across campus, music, comedy, dance, and even more, to come perform under one roof on one night. Look around on your campus. I'm sure there's wonderful talent all over your campus that will be willing to perform for free for a wonderful cause. Another fundraising effort we have done is we've set up a GoFundMe account that has made it possible for people to make monetary donations on the internet. This has worked well for us. It's easy to connect to a nursing home. All you have to do is reach out to an administrator or activities director, and they've probably heard of Music and Memory. They'll be happy to talk to you. Just call them and schedule a meeting. We are dealing with a very vulnerable and frail population, so dignity and privacy concerns are extremely important to us. As far as dignity, it's extremely important to treat residents with respect. Privacy concerns are also extremely important, and we never photograph a resident without legal consent. So how does all this work? Well, first of all, you meet a resident, and from there, you do a personal assessment with that resident to figure out what kind of music they like. And if you can't get the information from the resident, you can reach out to their family or the staff of the nursing home. We then create an iTunes account, and from there we get all of our music. We never pirate, so all of our music is bought directly from iTunes. On iTunes, there's an option to create your own individualized playlists. From there, we create individualized playlists for each resident. The next step is implementation. We go out and we begin sharing the music with the residents. We get them comfortable with using the headphones and the other equipment. We also offer supportive counseling. This is where we work with the staff of the nursing home to help them bring the music and memory outreach into the everyday activities of the nursing home. The last step is the gradual withdrawal. As much as we love the residents, we want to make sure we move on to another nursing home so we can help the people there. So you're probably wondering, what equipment will we use? The most important tool is the 2 gigabyte iPod Shuffle. Each one costs about $50. We use them because they are durable and they have a very strong battery life. You're also going to need some headphones. We use the Cos headphones, which are about $5 a piece. They are over the ear, lightweight, and comfortable for the resident. Sharing is important to us, and the best way to do that is to get some headphone splitters. We use the Rockstar Splitter. We use this brand because it allows a group of people to listen to the same mix. Sharing a mix is what makes it a much more powerful experience for the residents as well as for the volunteers. You're also going to need connectivity and a laptop. What we did was buy a refurbished Mac for about $400. You're going to need a place to store all of your equipment. We made our own storage case, but there are tons of options that you could do. So how much will all of this cost? We estimate that it'll cost about $2,000 to get into one nursing home. It's important to promote the cause and raise awareness. Here are a few things that we've done. We are always passing out flyers, dancing around in iPod costumes, and even participating in events around campus. We also distribute promotional items such as t-shirts and bracelets. Publicity is key to raising awareness. So make sure you get somebody on board who is good at writing press releases and has good relationships with the media. Newspapers, TV stations, and even radio stations have told our story from coast to coast and I'm sure you'll create great stories for the media to tell. Finally, make sure you have a strong social media presence. Make effective use of Facebook and Instagram to promote your cause. You're going to need lots of volunteers. Here are some of the methods that we use to recruit. Make sure that your group hits all of the activity fairs on campus to spread awareness. Another thing we've done is create a recruitment video. Check it out. We Find a so Music and Memory Muncie is an organization that we started here at Ball State last year um, where we bring personalized music playlists to people in nursing homes that are suffering with Alzheimer's and dementia. There's nothing better than getting into the nursing home and just like having this kind of magical experience with a resident and just seeing them light up um, and come alive really. Um, it's just like it makes you feel good, it makes them feel good, and it makes you 
feel like you're making a difference in the world. I love you so much. I've been with this organization since day one, and it's taught me to forget about myself and start focusing on other people. By joining Music and Memory Muncie, you have all of these opportunities available to you. We have storytelling, uh, fundraising, research, and volunteering. And you can join just one of these groups or all of them. It really doesn't matter. You're open to any of them. You gain so much experience, and it's a lot of fun. So please join us and help us enhance the lives of Alzheimer's patients. Another thing you can do to recruit is to speak in one of your classes or even talk individually with students. To help keep the volunteers motivated, we give them lots of love and recognition. For example, we write volunteer spotlights on social media. We also distribute rewards and certificates at the end of the academic year. Not only does our organization help the residents, but it also helps the volunteers. There are lots of benefits to volunteering. Volunteering boosts confidence and self-esteem, reduces anxiety and depression, and it's a great resume builder. It also gives the volunteers a sense of purpose. One of our ongoing challenges is staffing during the summers and breaks. One way we deal with this is to reach out to local high school students and ask them to fill in during breaks and summers. And this has worked out really well for us. Another ongoing challenge is fundraising. You have to constantly be thinking about raising money and promotion. If we can do this, you can do this. If you ever need any help, please feel free to reach out to us. We're eager to help.